Common accidents in the home. Drowning, shock, insect bites and stings. Morning, mother. Morning, son. Are you okay? Um, I think so. But I feel a little weird anyway. Perhaps it's the dream I had last night. What dream? I dreamt that I was drowning in a swimming pool with no help nearby. And? I got so scared it woke me up from sleep. Don't worry. It was just a dream. Anyway, drowning in real life makes a person to struggle for air as water enters the lungs. A drowning person assumes a vertical position, makes wild strokes and jerks in order to swim. These movements decrease gradually and stop altogether. And the person dies. If there is no one nearby to help, young children can drown very easily in bathtubs, water basins and buckets when they are unattended. So this is what you were warning me about last night. Of course, drowning is fatal and should be prevented. M mind telling me how? Mm, I think all the water stored in buckets and basins should be covered. Mm -hmm. Also, never leave young children alone in the house and caution them against playing near dams, rivers or pools. Correct. Plus, pools around the house should be drained, water taps turned off tightly and bathrooms locked. So, how do you help a drowning person? All right. If you notice a drowning person, act immediately by rescuing him or call out for help if you cannot swim. Once out of the water, wipe the mouth with a clean cloth to remove any foreign object. Conduct a mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation immediately if the victim is not breathing. Resuscitate? Oh, what? Some people call it the kiss of life. Resuscitation is the act of breathing into the mouth of the victim to jumpstart the lungs. It should be done gently in young victims to avoid pumping too much air into the lungs. All right, so that is resuscitation. Mm -hmm. And how do you get the water out of the chest? Very good question. Let the patient lie down with the head slightly lower than the feet. Press the belly with strong jerks as you keep the mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing. Water then comes out. And you have saved a life. Definitely. You can also try the back pressure arm lift or the chest pressure arm lift method. What's that? Let the victim lie on the stomach. Place your palms on the victim's back and press evenly. This helps facilitate breathing and removal of water from the stomach. All right, so how long should you keep pressing the back or the belly? Whichever method you use, repeat it 12 times per minute and frequently check and remove any foreign contents in the mouth. Keep the person warm and treat for shock. Of course, seek medical help when necessary. Mm. You mentioned shock. Yep. I thought shock is caused by Electricity. That's right. Electricity can be very dangerous if carelessly handled. It is the major cause of shocks anyway. But come to think of it, shock is a condition of weak rapid pulse that causes quick shallow breathing, heavy sweating, confusion, or loss of consciousness. So, meaning there are other causes of shock? Yes. Receiving bad or good news unexpectedly, severe pain, diarrhea, vomiting, loss of blood, and allergies can cause shock as well. But you can't stop people from receiving bad or good news. I agree. But you can't prevent people from getting electric shock since it is the most common type in the home. By not playing with power sockets in the house. Yep. Do not push metal objects into sockets or touch electric wires with wet hands. Have all electric wires insulated and replace the damaged ones. 
Spoiled electric appliances in the home, such as iron boards, should be repaired or replaced immediately. Oh, is there any treatment for shock? Yes, there is. First, make the person comfortable and treat the cause of the shock. Keep reassuring him all is well. When he is conscious, give a hot drink and seek for a doctor's help if need be. Hey, look out! What? Oh, bees. These insects sting and inject poison in the body. That is why I was warning you. I have been stung by a wasp before and I cried the whole day, I remember. Insects like bees, wasps and scorpions sting while there are others like spiders, mosquitoes and bedbugs that bite. Mm. In many cases, they release poison to the part of the body and if the poison is not stopped, it could spread, spread to the, the rest, rest of, of the, the body. body. The day I was stung, I felt pain all over my body and didn't know what to do. But I came to your rescue when I heard you crying, remember? Yes, I do. But I can't recall what exactly you did to make the pain go away. That is because you were too terrified. All right. I removed the sting using my fingernails. Then I dabbed the injured part with the cloth soaked in surgical spirit. This was to neutralize the poison and then afterwards you were okay. But in the absence of surgical spirit, you can use ice or paste made of baking powder and cold cream. Hmm, I see. But I hear scorpion bites are more dangerous and poisonous. Of course. In the case one is bitten by a scorpion, a spider or many bees, call an ambulance immediately. And what if you are bitten by a cobra snake? It's very rare around here. But before we dwell more on snakes, why don't you... Reveal what we have discussed? Exactly. I knew that was coming. Okay. Drowning occurs when a person struggles to breathe underwater. Water enters the airways. The victim stops to struggle and may die if help does not arrive in time. To prevent drowning, it is important we drain all water pools around the home, cover all water in containers in the house, and discourage children from playing near rivers and dams. Now, when one is drowning, first rescue the victim and perform the needed first aid. Excellent. On the other hand, shock is caused by receiving unexpected news, severe loss of blood, as well as electric current. When one is in shock, reassure him or her and give a hot drink. Prevent electric shock by replacing all damaged wires and appliances, as well as discouraging children from playing with electric switches. Any question? Cobra snakes. Oh, let's take breakfast as we talk about snakes then. All right, mother.